After years of planning, the future farmstead on the University of Georgia's Tipton campus is now just months away from being completed. It's a net zero energy house that combines advanced building materials with internet based monitoring and control systems. Damon Jones takes a closer look at this unique project. It's called the farmstead of the future. And with its solar roofing, state of the art building materials and internet based monitoring systems, it's easy to see why. And while all this cutting edge technology does make for good conversation, it also serves a major purpose for researchers here at the UGA Tifton campus. And the reason we're looking at it is how do we increase efficiencies both in water, in energy, and in humans. And so that's what the house is designed to help do. Um, it's a house, every you know, farmer has one. And the end result for this project, which is set to be complete later this year, is a net zero energy house. That means at the end of the month, the power bill should be zero. In order to do that, the house uses the solar panels on the roof during the day, which also gives surplus energy back to the power company, who then in turn provides power throughout the night. And a big reason this works is because of all the energy efficient features throughout the house, including a unique heating and cooling system using a series of tubes underground. Basically, we've got it stuffed five and a half feet underground, where your temperatures run about 70. Um, through the year and, and the water coming back to the uh, cooling system or heating system is 70 degrees. So instead of working off a 95 degree hot air, you're working off a 70 degree water. Makes it real efficient in cooling the house. Another big emphasis for this project is to be as green as possible, as most of the material they are using comes from recycled products. I mean, one of the cool products is uh, recycled blue jean material by UltraTouch. And Cotton Commission helped us on that. And uh, nice product, real easy to use, uh, pleasant to touch, and, it, and it's got a good sound quality as well as insulation. Price was also a major factor as the staff wanted to use technology and materials that the average person could not only find, but also afford. Now we want folks going through the house to see things that they could do in their own life and not be so far out that, you know, and just, yeah, it's interesting to see, but nothing they could implement. So here, we hope they walk in and see lots of things they could implement that make their life better. So with all the new ideas and technology, this new project might seem more Jetsons than Little House on the Prairie. However, it is agriculture that was the major driving force behind this new project, as they hope to take some of the lessons learned from the homestead and bring them to the fields. The ultimate goal is to make agriculture more energy efficient, more water efficient, more people efficient. And the technologies that we're using in the house will expand those to other parts of ag. And to do that, the researchers brought in and talked to a number of farmers around the state in order to get their input on what they would like to see. The result turned out to be pretty obvious. Well, they, of course, would love to see a house that makes their life better. And some of that is, as you know, a lot of our farmers are getting older and, and so living in place is a big deal to them. How do they, how do they have in their home um, ways that will help them monitor and, um, and help them as far as living longer in the place that they're at. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.